All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson, coming at you with a fight announcement. So UFC has booked a strawweight bout between 12th-ranked Angela Hill and 13th-ranked Emily Ducote that's set to go down at a UFC fight night scheduled for December 3rd in Orlando, Florida. This news was first reported by Nolan King of MMA Junkie. Um, Interesting about this card is that it is headlined by a middleweight bout between Derek Brunson and Jack Hermanson and also features a flyweight bout between Tracy Cortez and Amanda Hebos. Uh, you know, I like this fight. I think it's going to be uh, very particularly interesting. And uh, I'll get to that in a second. But first, let's get into the stats on this one. So Hill coming in at 14 and 12. Uh, Gordinha Ducote coming in at 12 and 6. Now, Hill just stopped a three fight losing streak by picking up a decision win over Lupe Godinez just a little over a week before the time of this an <coughs> excuse me announcement. Whereas Ducote is riding a four fight win streak going b back two years. Uh, most recently, she defeated Jessica Penny via decision a little over a month ago in her UFC debut uh, let's see hill is the elder fighter by nine years 37 to 28 so good um, ducote has youth on her side side hill though has the the height and reach advantage on her size five feet three inches 160 centimeters tall to ducote's five feet two inches 157 centimeters tall and hill has a reach of 64 and a half inches 164 centimeters to 63 inches 160 centimeters for Ducote. Okay, so I said this fight was interesting, and here's why. You know, I I first heard the announcement, and I thought, well, didn't Hill just have a very similar fight against Lupita Godinez? And that was my, like, initial reaction. And then I thought about it for a minute or two, and I'm like, no, no, no. This is uh, definitely a different fight. Because I would say... Ducote is a better striker than Godinez because her striking, she can actually strike independent of, uh, you know, a, a game plan. Like she can strike purely for the sake of striking and Ducote can grapple purely for the sake of grappling. Where with Godinez, she is a pattern fighter. She is striking to get into the clinch or to get into the pocket to get it to the takedown, to get your opponent down to the ground, to, you know, get the ground and pound or submission finish. Whereas Ducote is, doesn't rely on fighting to a specific pattern, doesn't rely on, you know, having every link in the chain connected. So I think this is, this is definitely a different fight than what I initially, you know, thought it would be. It's an interesting fight though. I mean, Ducote has one win in the UFC. She's already numbered 13. Hill is at number 12, but a well-established veteran. So a, a win over Ducote, or Hill for Ducote, you know, could propel her. Her next bout will be against a top 10 opponent, which makes it really nice. Um, I think I give the edge to Hill on the feet, but the edge, just the edge on the ground, I would give it to Ducote, but I think it's going to be interesting to see to uh, watch Ducote's game. Uh, you know, we she has some power in her fists. We know that. We saw her knock out Danielle Taylor, and it's been interesting watching. You know, Hill's game evolve over the years as well. I mean, personally, I think that this is Ducote's time. You know, she's she's in the right weight class for her. when she was in Bellator. She was at flyweight didn't belong at that weight class, but now she's at straw weight, and she's been doing phenomenally since then. Uh, Hill, you know, I've said this about her, and this isn't derogatory. Hill is the straw weight gatekeeper. Like, if you can beat Angela Hill, you're going to do well. You're likely going to get into the top 10, and if not, then you just, you take a step back, and you work on some things, and then you get back on working, getting up that ladder. So when I use the word gatekeeper for Angela Hill, it is not in a derogatory manner. My early pick is going to be Emily Ducote, but again, I got to watch 
definitely got to watch some more tape. Thankfully, the fight's like four months away, three, four months away. So got some time until then. Anyway, those are just my most basic, most initial thoughts on this bout. Let me know yours in the comments down below. If you like the video, please give it a like. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to WM Macy Now, the best, most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.